hi now we are going to create our multiple cross section for this purpose we can go to this option and we can create multiple cross section from here so here we have two type of option one is create section view for example if you want to create a single section on any sample line you can create this option if you want to create multiple cross section you need to select this create multiple cross section option for this purpose also you can just select it from here you can see it the same option here just go to the section view create multiple cross section create section view you can do it from here easily so just select in select and click on create multiple cross section once you click on multiple cross section it will ask you that select the alignment on which one you want to create your multiple cross section once you click here the sample line will select it automatically and here will be give you the start and end station from where to where you want to select it the next you have here standard which one standard do you need to show it okay so we will just select this is the which i prepared by myself this one just click on this road section by and here you need to select your style which style you want to select if you don't have the style you need to create by you are editing this one and you can do it and change this style graph annotation and display colors each and everything once you create you can save it and you can use it in all kind of projects and drawings so i have i have already created and i save it and i am using for each and every project so if you want to create your own you can just create from this option to do a better and good finishing drawings so click next once you click next from here you can just select which kind of cross section do you need to show you can just select it from here okay here is the standard you can see it standard just click on next so once you click on the next then it will give you the automatic left and right and click on next click next here is the here is the section display option okay so leave same as it is and click on next from here you need to select your band style as i explained in the profile section that you can create your own band same as it is you can create your bands for the cross sections you can add and create same as it is a profile so i already created so i will select my band style from here this is my band style you can change this option from here also or later i will also explain it how you can change it the levels and in the surface okay so you need to click on next once you click on next you can see that if you need the select table style basic or standard we already create compute or material so we will add it from here you can see it if you are going to create your road structure you need to click on material but we have the volume cut and fill so i will select the basic table and i will click on add button from here and from here how in which style you need to show your tables so horizontally is okay and i will select it top center or top right is okay here also i will select top right so now it will be show like this way so next if you want to give the offset you can provide even the offset from here so just click on create section view so you need to create the section view here the sheet i forget to explain about the sheet in the uh, say road section two cross section i will explain about the sheet so now you can see that your cross section is created successfully okay all your cross section is here so for this purpose if you want to do some changing like this level is not okay i will just select it and if you want to bring a few section in one sheet you need to reduce the scale from here just go to the scale and select 180 200 so now you can see that it's selected but it's not update so select one cross section so from here you need to click on update group layout or you can just right click and from here you need to click on update layout group okay so click here you can see that again select one the table is not coming just click update group layout you can see it now you can see that your sheet is like this if you want to reduce more you just need to change the scale and sheet size it's depend on your sheet that how much uh, sheet size you created 
so i will try to explain how we can create the sheet for the cross section in the next if i can so just click and select this cross section and click on update group layout now you can see that it's now few cross section on one sheet and it will be very visible you can see the material cut area and fill area each and everything you can see and also you can see this is the junction one where is our junction you can see here is no any other daylight and walkway so it's easy and simple you can see it's created cut and fill area is here which we compute the material so if uh, our this level is not okay as i explained in the beginning so we will for this purpose you if you want to change this just right click and go to section view group property and from here you, here is your section so just click here and click on change you can see this is your bands so if you want to create your own bands you can just click here and you can create new same as it is i explained in the profile you can also create the bands like this way okay so the next you can create your own and you can use for each and every project so here we have the eg for the eg we will select here ogl because this is our existing ground offset we will also select ogl ogl and for this one we will select corridor top this is final because it's fg finish ground level and here we will also select corridor top corridor top this is our corridor top offset so apply and okay apply and okay so now you can see that your all levels is selected as per your design and your cut and fill area now everything is okay you can see the levels and offset each and everything cross section is look like uh, all showing as a hitches so if you want to remove the hitches you need to just select the cross section and from here you can just select the section property from the section property you can change it from here you can just select a all code with no shading you can select it click on ok so it is will be all code with shading so if you like kind of this you can just change it this one so next we are going to create the um, multiple cross section for the road 2 same as it is this is the same procedure we will go to the sections and from here we will just click on create multiple section view so once we click from here we will select the road 2 once we select the road 2 for the next we will just click here which one we do we need the style just we will select road section by sh which we created and here as i explained it from here you can just select your sheet which sheet do you like to use so if you want to create your own sheet you can just double click on this one and you will go and you save this one and do some changing okay so as per your requirement you can modify the sheet and you can change it from here very easily so click ok next i will just click here this is the group plot style in which style do you want to plot your group plot all plot standard plot basic which one do you want to use so if you want to use basic even you can use the basic one so click on next once you click on next it will give you the offset range so click on next it will give you the elevation range next it will give you this option all so from here you can see that this is the option which you want to select fish finish one and which one and also is the corridor you can see it which one do you want to select we will just select all hitches with no shading which i explain so if you just select it so you will not see the the shading in the cross section so you need you can change it from this one when you are going to create your cross section if you click all codes with hitches so codes will be show and also will be the hitches white one so you will not see the clear view of your section so just select it all code with no shading if you want to do again some changing you can do it from here so just click on ok once you click on ok you need to click on the next and from here you need to just select your band style we are going to select our band style so as i explained in the first even you can change it from here ogl ogl and here is also ogl for this one for the offset and here is also ogl for the fg finish ground you need to select corridor top corridor top corridor top 
corridor top next so now is the table we will add basic table head and from here you need to select top right you can see it so create you need to select the area where you want to show your cross section just click here it will create it successfully same as it is okay you can see it now the style is a bit changed because this one is another style and this one is another style so here is some mistake in one level you just need to delete this one okay let's see here you can see that this style is different from the another one if you are going to change the style you can change it from here so you can see there is no shading because i explained that if you are going to select here this is a shade it will be shaded if you are going to select is hs with no shading it will be look like this you can also see the cut area and fill area the levels is changed because at the time of creation we already change it so all the cross section is here okay and how much uh, per sheet you want to print so you can do the setting same as it is so the next same as it is we are doing for the road 3 just go to section view and click on create multiple cross section from here you need to select road 3 sample line will select automatically and from here you need to select the style okay just select the style and next and from here you need to just select basic or anyone you can just select the basic or you can just select the standard even just click next and from here you can just select the sheet as i explained if you want to do some changing in the sheet you can do it from here from these three dots to select your sheets okay so just click and if you want to do some changing style you can just do the changing from here plot area display each and everything so just click on next here is the automatic levels here is the automatic level range and from here you need to just select if you don't need with shading just select all code with no shading click ok and next from here you need to select the band set just click next and from here you need to change you can even change it by the first method which i explained but it's the same so it's ok if you are going to change from here it will be easy here is the top here is top here is top here is the top and next here is the table we are going to add basic table for the cut and fill top right and you can add it to top right you can give it any style it's as, uh, up to you if you are going to bring it here vertically you can just bring it vertically like this way if you bring it to horizontally if you bring to left side right side you can just bring it so create section view here we will just create the section view now you can see that it's same as it is this one the sheet is same as it is but the style is with no shading so it's a bit clear it's okay you need to show like this this is the junction area you can see it okay that's why it's larger you can see it even you can see the change that which change is this so you can see it from here this is 0 plus 10 so if you go to 0 plus 10 you can see that 0 plus 10 is a larger area this one okay so same as it is you can easily create your multiple cross section so we will see in the next goodbye and take care